Welcome back everyone. In today's video we're going to make this helmet into a dedicated motovlog helmet with the option to record uh, the audio from our communication system so we can not only record ourselves but also what's coming through the speaker from our recording uh, from our communication system. So let's get to it. So first things first, what you need to figure out is where on the helmet do you want your camera to be? Because there are multiple places where you can put your camera. You can put it on top, you can put it on the side, you can put it on the chain, you can put it maybe somewhere in between. For my first helmet, on my next uh, XD1, I had it on the side because I was using a Sony action cam and because it's its profile is, is thin instead of having it on a chin like this stick out to the front I chose to use this on the side like this which is a lot more low profile so first I went with the side view which I liked for a long time but the issue with putting a camera on the side is if the camera is on the left and something happened to the right you need to over exaggerate your head movement to the right almost look, looking back over your right shoulder to have the camera point to the place that you wanted to record and with the camera on the chin that's much easier but the effect that you get with the camera on the side is it feels as if the viewer is looking over your shoulder so you get the feeling that the viewer is riding with you uh, sitting behind you and looking over your shoulder and that's the kind of view that I liked for a long time with my uh, Rurok, I put it on the uh, on the chin, and then again when I went back to my XD1, I put it not on the chin but somewhere here on the on the jaw, which kind of worked. But for this new one, but for this one, uh, we're gonna do it on the chin. So I ordered the chin mount from Chin Mounts. So the first thing that we're going to do is place this onto our helmet a piece of cloth with some rubbing alcohol on it so you can clean the surface okay I'm, I'm guessing it's supposed to be like this so I'm gonna align it and make sure it fits so to, to help this 3M tape uh, be more sticky what, we do, what we're going to do and also that's what they're advising is heating it up a little bit and once it heated up, stick it on there. And now it's on there. The only thing that I need to figure out is how I'm going to mount the camera on the helmet. Because it's a racing helmet and I'm, and I'm on a sports bike. When I'm on a sports bike, the helmet doesn't sit like this. The helmet most of the time sits like this. So if you have this mount like this, then we can figure out with these attachments how far do we want to have the camera sit and how far do we need to tip the camera back. Keep one thing in mind though that when you're tipping your camera back to match it when you, to match it to the position that you are in when you're on top of the bike, if you get off the bike and you're one, and you're looking normally, most of the time the camera will point upwards a little bit. So if you're deliberately filming something but you're not on the bike and you're just looking at it, make sure to tip your head a little bit down so you point your camera straight at it instead of have, having it like film the sky. Now with these newer GoPros, you have a big field of vision. But even then, you'll have a lot of sky and your main subject that you're trying to film like somewhere at the bottom of the, of the video and you don't want that. Yeah, from this point on, I normally move over to the communication system because the placement where the boxes are inside of your helmet is more important at this point because those are more tricky to find a good position. The microphone will do after that. Welcome back everyone. So the first thing is place the cardo and have like the the placement for the ears because a lot of the helmets have like these pre-positioned stuff where you can put in the small ear pieces for me most of the time those fall behind my ear 
and when you have riding wind uh, coming from the front, I can't always hear what's happening in the car though that clear when with all the wind noise. Now this helmet is fairly quiet, but still I'd like to find a place where it's almost on top of my ears or maybe a little bit in front. That's the main issue. And then of course, uh, getting rid of all the wires. I need to figure out whether I'm going to use the sticky mount or the clamp. I'm not sure yet. I, uh, I'll just have to see. Clamp mount won't be possible. The hole here or the, the, the edge here that I'm trying to slide into isn't deep enough. So it hangs out like, like this far. Uh, I guess sticky mount it is then. Nothing I can do about that. Hold on, let me grab, grab something. Okay, so a spoon. Let's see how deep it is. Yeah, that's, that's half of the length of the clamp mount. Uh, I can't go any deeper. Sticky mount this. So somewhere here would be perfect. Let's hold like this for a little bit. It's on there, that's good enough. Uh, now I have to run the cables through here. Now this isn't my cheek pad. This is like a, a wind curtain or whatever you call it. My cheek pad's underneath. So I have to run this under here, under the cheek pad. So update, as you guys can see, the speaker is in there. Uh, in the spot where this earphone is, there was there, there were these things. Now you take them out. So there, there's already a small Velcro spot here, right there. So I don't need to stick the Velcro stuff that's coming with the Cardo. Uh, apart from that, what I'm going to do for the vlog mic is I'm going, you, you see the small hole here? I'm going to shove that, that microphone, that uh, lav mic, in here, so it's inside my cheek pad. So you don't need a dead cat, you don't need anything. If you don't have this, you can always cut a little piece out and just shove it in. If you don't want to cut this plastic, what you can do is if you have your cheek pad like here, you can have your mics, you can have your mics stick here with a dead cat, so it's a little bit more to the side. I like that more because if you have it here up here in in front. When you're breathing, you're breathing into the mic and the mic can't pick that up. So I like to have it here on the side instead. So here we have two lav mics. These are the same, one has dead cat, one doesn't. This is the one I use for talking in. This is the one I use for uh, picking up the sounds that's coming from the cardo. What I'm going to do is I'm, going, I'm just going to place it right here on top of the speaker. And cover it up like that. And because it's so thin, you're not feeling it on your ears. And there's no pressure point, which works. Sometimes these designated speaker hole is a little bit wider. Then you can just like squeeze it in there right beside it. That's even better. But for me, I'm just going to place it on top and leave it as that. Now what I'm going to do for cable management is like keep it bundled like a little bit like this. I'm gonna squeeze it here inside the outer shell and the inner shell. And why I'm doing it there and not here inside my cheek, because the more I squeeze in here, the more the cheek is going inwards and it will squeeze your, your, your cheeks or your cheekbones. If you're going to do it in, inside the cheek pad, run it along across the whole helmet. That way you have less bundled up pieces of, of, of cable. And since I'm running two mics and with the cables from the speaker, like everything is going around as much as I can, I can make it go around. For this side, as you can see, we have a small hole here and same here. I'm just gonna mash it through here. If it doesn't fit with the dead cat, I'm just gonna take the dead cat off. I was a little bit too optimistic about having, about being able to squeeze a dead cat in here. In my next XD1, I was able to do it. The next best thing is if we cannot fit a dead cat in there and I want to avoid using the mic naked, we have this smaller windsock that we can use. So essentially what I want is 
to have the mic here inside. So I'm gonna shove it like this and bring it to the front. One, there we go. Now this one is for my vlogging mic. This one is for my um, speaker mic. Okay, so this is how we plug them in. Now you have these two mics. So you have these two plugs for your mics and we have a splitter that goes into one and that one goes into your camera. Now the thing with this, oh, the thing with doing it this way is, first of all, this is a tip that I got from Stan the Moto Man. So shout out to you, Stan the Moto Man. Normally you have like two, two audio channels, one for the left side, one for the right side. With this splitter, it splits. So your right side audio channel, for example, is your vlogging mic and your left audio sample is the, 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 the earpiece mic. Um, so that way you have two separate channels for both separate mics. And what you can do is detach them from your audio clip and then like duplicate them so you both, so both mics have left and right channels, but that's an editing thing. If, if you're vlogging, I'm sure you'll figure it out. But this way you have both channel, you have both mics into the two separate channels. Now, of course, I can like run this a lot cleaner through here. So we only have this one sticking out. But this is this is my setup. Let me show you how everything looks with the helmet on. A small change. Um, I had two cables stick out like this. Um, you can do that. But it was a little bit annoying with getting the helmet on and off with, uh, with my beard and the cable like snagging on my beard. So I've run everything through like this around here from the back and now both of them are here. Like you can see this lump, that's where the splitter is and this sticking out. Now of course we have our GoPro. And that way we have our vlogging helmet. So that's how I do my vlogging helmet setup. Anyway, let's go outside and see or hear how everything sounds and test it out while riding. Okay, hello guys. We're inside the helmet. I'm not sure how well you can hear me. This is the helmet mic test test. And of course we have one more mic. Let's quickly open up YouTube. Game Grumps, okay. This is the first video that came up. Connect Bluetooth because I forgot, and there we go. Oh, okay, so for anyone just joining us, we should say again, um, we're playing an escort game here. Oh yeah, my, so we're trying to make the AIs win. My AI that I want to win is DK. And mine is Luigi, although we are technically controlling Princess Peach and Yoshi. Yes, correct. Okay, that was the loudest it could go. I'm not sure how the quality is, I hope it's good. No, but that was the Bluetooth mic. And since both of these mics are on a separate channel, I can play with the volume of my voice compared to the volume that's coming from the Bluetooth earpiece. So even if the Bluetooth earpiece isn't that super clear, I can play a little bit with the volume. Uh, this is a test of the sound with an open visor while it's very windy. I'm not talking too loud, this is my regular voice. So yeah, that's the way I do my helmet setup. Thank you guys for watching. If you have a different kind of helmet setup or advice on how I can improve mine, uh, feel free to write it down below. Like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on social media and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.